Hey everyone, we have some more information coming out of Gamescom regarding Path of Exile 2. Game director from Grinding Gear Games, Jonathan Rogers, sat down with GameStar and did an interview. During this interview, GameStar actually got to play a live playable demo of Path of Exile 2. So in this video, we're gonna talk about what was discussed in this interview. We're gonna learn why Grinding Gear Games wanted to make POE 2, the changes to the skill system, the introduction of WASD. We're gonna see the mercenary class for the very first time and a brand new boss fight never seen before outside of Grinding Gear Games Studio and much more. So I hope you'll join me and stick around. Let's get to the interview and what was discussed. All right, so this wasn't a very long interview, and this is in no particular order, but basically the interview covered the following topics, and one that I really wanted to start with was, what was the genesis of PoE 2? Why not just improve on Path of Exile? And it was very interesting during the interview, Jonathan explained that they wanted to make Path of Exile 2 because they were not happy with the combat in Path of Exile. So instead of improving on Path of Exile, they wanted to make a game, and this is him stating they wanted to make a AAA combat game. And this is the genesis of why they wanted to embark on Path of Exile 2. I found that very interesting and just remarkable. And just, it speaks to the quality of this studio that they're just not happy with rolling out the same stuff they want to improve on. So uh, really hats off to Grinding Gear Games. Okay, so YWASD. So during this interview, Jonathan shared that they initially thought WASD would only be good with range classes, but over time, they made it work for all, including melee. And during this demonstration, Jonathan made sure that was illustrated and they played a melee and range class. Jonathan went into a lot of talk about how WASD is just gonna feel so good. The fact that you're gonna be able to now move and shoot for example at the same time he said it several times where one it's going to be difficult to make the switch but once you do try it and you stick with it you're not going to go back he also shared a very interesting statistic regarding grinding gear game studio and all of people that play path of exile that have been playing path of exile 2 and he said about 75 percent of the ggg studio switch to wasd he said there's just about 25 percent that just will not conform to it and 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 he also confirmed look we're still gonna leave uh click and move in the game if people don't want to play with wasd we're still gonna leave the possibility of click and move so you're gonna have both options guys but jonathan made it very clear if you stick with it and you rough it out believe me it's gonna be worth it you'll never want to go back and he shared his own experience where that he experienced and he said once he got used to it he can't imagine going back to a click and move kind of play style so very very interesting the other thing that was very very interesting regarding the discussion around WASD and PoE2 is Jonathan acknowledged and said that because they wanted to make sure that WASD would work and feel good with all the classes across Path of Exile 2, it's that going back and making sure all the classes worked with WASD that actually contributed to the delay in releasing Path of Exile 2. So like, I just love the honesty and transparency of this studio. And obviously that is a very, very interesting little tidbit during the interview, which I, I my shoulders immediately popped up when I heard that. I'm like, wow, not only is he being transparent, but that's some juicy, juicy news. So WASD guys, it sounds like if we stick through it and stay with it, it's going to be well worth the effort and pain. And I already know probably a lot of you are already going to see if you're not a controller player, you're probably going to be either buying one or dusting off dust. If you're a mouse and keyboard player like myself, to be honest with you, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to have to see how it goes. I'm going to try WASD with mouse and keyboard, and then we'll, I'll take it from there and, and we'll see how it goes. We got a 
demonstration of the mercenary for the very first time. It looks really awesome. And this is the first time anyone's seeing the mercenary class outside of Grinding Gear Game Studio. So they did a demonstration of it. Obviously, it looks really good. Everything that I've seen, everything that I've heard on all the classes looks really sweet. So it's going to be so cool to, for all of us to get our hands on try all the different classes. Uh, but we got a live demo of the mercenary class for the very first time. Also, there was a little discussion around our the Path of Exile mechanics of all of them going to be moved over and put in Path of Exile 2. Um, and Jonathan, uh, when asked about that, and during the demo, uh, GameStar actually confirmed through the demo that there was an actual ritual in the gameplay that was shown to us in the interview. So we know rituals being moved over because the demo had ritual in it. But Jonathan did elaborate on that and said that not all the mechanics from Path of Exile are going to be moved and carry forward to PoE2. He did say the majority of them will, but they also want to leave room for more new content to come in Path of Exile 2. So the other beautiful thing that was, and, and this is not the first time we've seen it, but the skill system changes in Path of Exile 2 just continue to be jaw dropping. And one of the things that Jonathan highlighted during the skill system reveal and change that they showed on this demo was the fact that Jonathan felt the skill system in PoE was just too complicated and they wanted to improve on that. And these are, this is the new skill system UI which look awesome and now skill gems are now items and there's I'm not going to get into all the details but you can see here in the video it's so intuitive the UI just the quality of life all the things and improvements that they made where they now have suggested skills that you can put together. It, I can go on and on and on. It's just so much better. Skill system changes coming to PoE2. I can't talk enough about it. It's going to open up and reduce the learning curve for new players that embark on the PoE2 journey that never played Path of Exile. And I think it's strategic from Grinding Gear Games point of view. They wanted to lessen the learning curve when it comes to skills and support skills. And of course, their improvement on the quality of life with the skill UI. It's just hats off to them. Great, great. It looked so intuitive. And I think players are going to love this new skill system change coming to Path of Exile. Exile 2. And then lastly, we got a new boss fight demonstration. And this new boss was never, it's never been seen before. And it's Kazul, the High Priest of the Sun. Apparently, it's going to be in the middle of Act 3, if I heard it correctly. And it's one of the hundred boss fights in PoE 2. Yes, you heard me correctly. It's only one of 100 bosses that are going to be in Path of Exile 2. Now, I got to say, I learned something during this part of the interview. Jonathan actually fought the boss during the interview. GameStar handed over it to him and let him fight Kazul. And I have to say, I learned that Jonathan is actually a boss slayer as he had no issues, zero disposing of the high priest of the sun, Kazul. Well done, Jonathan. Now, that was a quick interview. It wasn't long in duration, but man, was it packed with some really substantial information. And the more information that I'm personally seeing regarding Path of Exile 2, the more I'm in awe of just how spectacular this game is going to be. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but whether it's an interview, whether it's a social media post, whether it's a YouTube video, anyone that has come across Path of Exile, whether they've actually tried and demoed the game or that they have seen the game everyone that's covering path of exile 2 right now i really haven't heard i don't know something's not looking right i hope they fix a b and c now don't get me wrong since the announcement of path of exile 2 the game has evolved drastically and that was part of the reason why Jonathan wanted to sit down with GameStar, apparently. He wanted to show them the update and the changes made since last year. Never mind since when they announced the Path of Exile 2 was coming. Um, so this game just continues to evolve. And I got to hand it to Grinding Gear Games for them 
wanting to make sure that everything is right. Now, of course, you're not gonna get everything 100% right. When they launched the game on November 15th, the early access version of it, of course, there's gonna be hiccups. There's gonna be things that are gonna come out through more players getting their hands on it. So don't get me wrong. I'm sure they got a lot of work ahead of them uh, as well. But this game looks like a banger. And this interview demonstrated a lot of new features that I feel are going to be main reasons why this game is going to be a huge success. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you. And as we get more information regarding Path of Exile 2, I will be sharing it with you. So please like, comment, subscribe. I would appreciate the support on my content. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.